Christmas, everybody. It's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. Today, I'm going to do a bunch of little things, little scenario video, because um, I have a lot of little spots to do. I still have a whole lot of big stuff to do, but today I just wanted to try and get some little stuff in. So um, I'm going to do, I, I guess I'll call it a coffee bar, but compared to what I've seen on other people's videos, it's not. You know, I'm just gonna tell you, it, it is what I do and I have been doing for years for um, people that come and stay with us. So it's um, it's minimal. <laughs> and what else? I'm gonna do our game table and then we got a new table. So I'm gonna do the unboxing of that and I don't know if I'll get it all set up, but those will be the three things on this video. I'm gonna apologize in advance. My husband is vacuuming. This is a big house and we have two dogs that are big shedders and it's almost an all day affair. He is gonna vacuum and then he's gonna mop all the floors. And anyway, I hate that it's, I can hear it upstairs, which means you can, I apologize. But I can't, I can't just wait till the end of the day to start videoing. So here we go. This is um, just a little chest I pick up. I forgot the name of this company. It was a company I carried as a decorator. Um, it's a, uh, they're very beautiful, unique looking chests. You can find them at Ashley Furniture. Um, you can find them at some of your local furniture stores. They just make a lot of unique chests. And at the time I bought it, it was somewhere around the six or $700 range. And they are very nice. They're not like sticky drawers. They roll in really well. So anyway, it's a piece I love. Again, when you have a piece, I have had this, I don't know, 10, more, uh, 10 or more years easily. And it's been in so many different places in our home. Um, homes because we've moved like four times since then. So it's fun to try and find a place. I mean, I would have kind of thought it would have ended up in a bedroom, but for the last few years at the lake house, I had it in the kitchen for my coffee bar. I just had a really big space in there and I decided to, um, you know, make a coffee spot that wasn't wasn't on the countertop. So, um, here's I'm going to tell you some secret here, real quick. So, in case you're not familiar, um, my husband retired in March, and and of course we're in this new house. Um, so we are finding our way and putting things away, and we have way too much stuff. We're going to have to purge once we get it all inside and figure it all out, but. I opened this drawer, the top drawer yesterday, and I was shocked to see that all the organization I had done was just pushed to the side and this was filled up with games. I mean, there's boundaries, right ladies? This is mine. This is a coffee bar. It was clearly marked. There are games in the game area. There are games below in here, like I gave up two of the dra three drawers. There are games over in our bookcases and there are games in um, our storage. So the idea that it was okay, I mean, just saying, we're gonna have to work out some of this stuff. This isn't the first time where I wouldn't bring it up. I went into my laundry room. Again, whose place is it, guys? We both have laundry rooms here. My husband gets the one down here. So he came out yesterday and said, why is there cleaning supplies sitting on top of the washer and dryer? And I said, well, I thought it would be nice to have them handy in here. Well, can I at least put them in the drawer underneath? And I said, sure. So <laughs> we're both, I guess, crossing lines, but I got into my laundry room and I opened the cabinet and went to pick out, where's my wool light? The whole lower shelf was dog food. And I was just like, no, this isn't lasting. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say a word about it, I'm just gonna move it, because he's clearly not communicating with me. So I'm gonna open the drawer and show you what I have. <laughs> is this too much information? I don't know. We okay, so this is how it was organized and I reorganized it. I um, just line up all the coffees and there's also teas over here and grog and um, I'll have the creamers and stuff on the top. But 
I just like to have it organized. It would be nice if I had some little trays, which I probably have some in the garage. Eventually I'll find them and it'll be um, a little bit more stable staying that way. Okay, since it is a real piece of furniture, it does have a nice shellac or whatever kind of finish on it, but this is a, a potentially wet space. So I do like to protect it. And this time of year, well, maybe any time of year, I have an abundance of runners. Oh, oh the, in the camera that looked like stains. Those are little um, snowflakes. So I am popping in this over the top just to protect the space. And then my coffee maker will be next because it takes up a lot of space. This is the most reliable Keurig I've ever had. I have had some in the past that were not, but I this one's made it through many years now and I love it. Um, it's got an adjustable bottom like this comes up in case you want to put a taller glass and it's got quite a few options on the top. And if it's available still, I'll link it below. This time, a lot of times I put this off to the side, but I'm going to put this in the center as a great dividing spot. Here we go. Sorry for the noise. Okay. And of course, gotta have that mug tree, right? I mean, if I had a big space, maybe I would have coffee cups laid out, but this is the most compact way to have them. Plus, they look so cute. Um, I had been looking for a uh, new mug tree for down here for a very long time, all summer. And they're all mostly modern and sticks and just wasn't, I just wasn't happy. So to find this at Christmas, this red one, I mean, I'm not in love with this little, it really is a sticker on there. I'm not in love with that, but this part's cute. Dear Santa, just bring coffee and um, unlike a lot of them, this is a Lazy Susan. So TJ Maxx, $12.99 this year. So always be on the lookout. I always look for stuff there. Okay, coffee cups. Um, you've seen, well, no, these are different than the ones upstairs. These Santas have little green mittens and some holly on them and their buckles. So I'm gonna start with those. I think I only have two of those. I'm gonna spread them out. Put one up here. That's as far apart as they can go. Here, let me bring you guys in closer for this part. I don't know, I mean, you know, it's just mugs, but these are adorable. So the rest of them are my two little bank ones with holly and mittens. more. I love it when they hold. So down here will just be, I mean, here's what we're going to, we're going to be hanging down here. We're going to try hanging down here more. Um, it's funny, you guys. So maybe it's not funny. Maybe it's just normal. So upstairs, when our family comes over, everybody like spends the day hanging out around the kitchen which if this is it's right above us so this would be the kitchen and that's the family room and you know it's just there's not that much space for the kids i don't know to so the, the little toddlers and barely toddlers right they were crawling around the summer so we're gonna try to spend more time down here it's just a lot more space for them to play and i've got this little spot i'm gonna show you in a few minutes that I'm hoping they're going to have fun with. Okay, next up. Okay, this was fun. So I have random containers and I just love, you know, I love the beachy stuff and that. And um, I like bringing rattan in and wicker and things. I just love the texture, the color and down here. When you finally see the whole thing, you'll see that I've just got a lot of that incorporated in the look. So... This was just laying around. I mean, it's done all kinds of things from cotton balls to extra change. It's just, but right now it was empty. So when I was going through it, um, I don't use this, but my husband does, and I guess other people do. So here's a, a sucralose sweetener. 
and then um, stevia. So I don't put sugar. I don't like my coffee sweet, any sweeter than maybe what would come from a um, sugar-free syrup or maybe a creamer that's got a little sweetener, but other people do, so it's not about me, right? So anyway, I thought that was kind of cute, so I'm gonna pop that over here. Hmm, I feel like I need to move this a little bit. There we go. And then my syrups. These are new ones. All right, we have, this was a gift pack. Like, I, I linked one on my kitchen video, and this is a different one. So these are Jordan Skinny Syrups. This is, these are smaller than, well, you can tell by how much I'm holding them. They're 12.7 uh, ounces. So I have cinnamon vanilla. These are not flavors I had upstairs. White chocolate mocha and salted caramel swirl. Does that sound delicious? And zero calories, so. I'm gonna put those up, and then I have an old one, um, a Torani, Torani is the name? It's a, a sugar-free cla uh, classic hazelnut. I don't get any complaints from anybody that they, hear anyway, that they don't like uh, sugar-free things. Um, where's this from? Threshold, oh, so that means it was, this was uh, Target, right? So I don't remember when I bought these or this because I only seem to have one. Obviously, it's a chalkboard, so you can write on it, but I don't. And then, pretty sure I picked these up on. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I got these at Tuesday morning a long time ago. They have some of the cutest stuff, and I haven't been there this year, and I'm not gonna make it there this year. But next year, I'm gonna go to Tuesday morning because I just found out that there is one. You know, it's not close to me, but it's. 25 minutes away. That's not too bad. So anyway, I love these little spoons for people to stir their coffee or their, you know, add sugar, whatever, to their tea or their creamer or whatever. So I keep some of those out. I'm adding some cute little cocktail napkins. And I know that you can't really see that it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. So I just thought they were so cute. So what am I missing? I'm missing my cream and... I don't see my bowl. I think I may have pulled it to wash it because it was dirty. So I have a little blue bowl, but I don't have the creamer. So um, for down here, I am going to order some of the little bitty ones. <laughs> Do you recognize this, Ree? This is a quiz. <laughs> okay, this is one of the Michaels wreaths. I ended up buying four of them. Um, I just, I mean, it's probably my most favorite wreath I've seen anywhere. I mean, you can fall in love with all kinds of them. They, you know, I get that, I do. But the idea that this one has, I'm looking for the ring on it, the idea that this one has so many different greeneries in it, so many different ones, plus the grapevine, plus the berries, plus the pine cones, plus bells and velvet ribbon. I mean, for under $30? That's just insane. I have two of them, so five to me. I have one more thing. I mean, I am so excited. Somebody in one of my comments said that they also went into Michael's and just fell in love with all of the black uh, and red and gold decor, and so did I. So look at this. I love it. It's skinny. It's uh, It says, meet me under the mistletoe. And I am putting this on something that the hook is definitely gonna show, but it's what I have right now. And, oh, those are metal, I had no idea. That is so cool. So next year, if I do this, I will probably find a different way to hang it. Okay. <laughs> in an attempt to make this unfinished booth look cute. I just put all those pillows there. I kind of think it's cute. You know what? I'm talking to my husband now. Before Christmas, huh. when we pull out a paint can, let's just paint that white. It'll just look good. I okay. mean, here's the truth. They're gonna sit over there and they're gonna be on a bench. It's a hard piece of wood. It's not any different than that. <clears throat> Plus there's nice pillows there. So anyway. Okay. Um, we're about to unbox. This is the pedestal. 
I'm still putting things away over here, but as soon as I clear that off, here is the table. And we're just gonna unbox this and try and get this little spot cute as a button. So, here's scissors, babe. Okay. And, and BB's decided to get on my banner. So this is BB, in case y'all haven't seen her. BB, are you gonna look at me? She's cleaning, cleaning her little paws like a cat. Hi, sugar. How are you? Can you get it? Yes, I know. Yes, I love you. Baby is a Japanese chin, and she is the sweetest thing. So Japanese chins are pug and Pekingese. Are there three things? And, and uh, King Charles, is that yep, it? That's it. King Charles are so much bigger. How in the world did they? I don't know. Anyway, and a lot of times you'll see these dogs in black and white. And um, I think they're the ones that you see if you see little statues uh, sitting straight up that are black and white. That's them. Ooh. Oh, so this is a double pedestal table. We're so, I mean, we don't understand how it's going to work, but because it, it expands and everything without, with the, it, it hides the leaf in the, oh my gosh. This wasn't that expensive, was it? No. So this so. was Amazon. I will link it below. I want to say it was somewhere around five or six hundred dollars, but my goodness, look at this chunkiness. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so that's upside down because that's where the little yeah. blades are going to go in. Right, right. All right, well, you don't need to watch us put it all together. Um, but wow, I think that's gonna be great. Okay, so we're hoping there's two more legs or whatever you call those in this one because that one only had six and we need eight. But he said there were screws in that particular one for the top of the table, so maybe. I'm just, uh, it's not looking good though. It's not looking good. Okay. You're a lot more optimistic than I am right now. Heavy? Oh, my God. There they are. You see them for sure? Right here. Those aren't curved. That can't be them. It's not them. Those are, those are curved. Okay, well, I gotta help him with this. We'll check it out in a minute. Oh, by the way, this is for, uh, uh, this one is for uh, Susie. You asked to see Bruce and <laughs> so say hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, we just flipped it over. Um, it is, I thought it was gonna be a circle when it was closed, but it's an oval even closed, which actually is nice because it looks great. Um, so we're about to open it up. You could easily sit there this way, but the people on the very end would not have the best. So I'm hoping it's not going to open up too big, but it, golly, it's gorgeous. And you know, it's under this really pretty light. Love it, honey. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Let's, let's figure out opening it. Do you need two people? I guess. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we were trying to come up with, we were going to take an antique uh, sewing machine of ours and put it down and, and put a piece of granite or marble on it, which would have been way too heavy. You can't imagine how heavy this table is. It was quite heavy, huh? Yeah, it was. It is 
gorgeous. And we both sat in there. It's perfect. Perfect size. Yeah, it's great. And we'll be able to get easily five people on the booth part. And um, that's all we really want it for is for lounging because there's six seats up here. Okay, here's the table my husband put together a few days ago. And I, I, you saw what, how awful that bench looked. So it eventually will get upholstered, but it's just not in the plans at the moment or the budget. So um, he painted it. I don't know, three, four coats. I have no idea. It feels great. So it's a little curved area that was going to be a place to put wine. And we just were like, we had wanted a booth. I mean, we worked so hard to try and find a place and it wouldn't work out. And as, as we were walking through after they had, I guess, just put the studs up, I said, couldn't we turn this into a booth? And I am so pleased with what we did. Um, as far as that goes, this is directly across from the bar. And there's plenty of room for walking. I know you're seeing messes because I'm not done over there. This is part two of this video. I just wanted you to see the finished thing for the holidays. Next is the game table. Okay, so I don't know if you guys do these kind of things. This is me. So I've got a little basket here full of uh, decor that I haven't used yet. <laughs> it's wandering. The halls with me and then we have like as we've unpacked and things there's like here's some towels some kids videos those need to go upstairs so they're sitting next to the elevator so i can just pop, pop them in there these are things right now that need to go just into the storage down here just excess excess so um and i was playing so i'm going to clear this all off and start from scratch and see what we can come up with. This is where we play games and so far. I mean, the kids have come to visit twice since we've moved in and um, this just seems to work out as a great game table. So I, a lot of times we're, we have to keep score and I was at TJ Maxx and you know how much, many wonderful little pads they have. So I picked up two of these have a holly jolly Christmas, and it is the kind that you can put on your um, fridge. I think these are great stocking stuffers, too. You know, who doesn't, what woman, anyway, doesn't want a pretty thing for her shopping list or whatever. But they also had these, and I wanted to have some fun. Um, so these are little penguins. Or you know how it is. You end up... You got to find pens or pencils and stuff. And if you get pencils, I like pens myself. I'd rather scratch out. So they were $6. Um, and so I picked up three. It'll be more, three packages. It'll be more than enough for us. Okay, this is potentially gift ideas. I know it's late, but you can go to the regular stores, you know, Walmart or whatever, still and get things. And I think you can still today maybe get stuff on Amazon shipped to you before Christmas. But okay, so uh, we just love games, and I'm gonna give you our. Um, I think it's our all-time favorite right now. It has been for many years. I talk about it a lot. This one we haven't opened yet because this was. Well, somewhere in here, I just knew when I was reading it that it was a newer. Includes cool, I don't know. It was a new one. All right, so I know this is backwards. But I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's called Telestrations. And it says it's it's the telephone game. Remember when maybe kids these days don't know, but you know, you would, to play telephone, you whisper something in somebody else's ear and it goes around. And then when it comes back, is it still what it was, right? Only you do this with, pictures. So you're going to have a card. Everybody will have their own card and they will read what it is and then they draw a picture of it. And then everybody passes. And that person has to look at that picture and decide what it is and write it down. And then everybody passes. And so depending on how I can tell you that it's not as much fun with under six people. 
okay? The more people, the better. And this is a 12th player, so the whole family can be a part of it. And honestly, if people go, oh, but I can't draw, okay, you're the best people because we don't even keep score. I don't even know how you win or anything because we've never done it. All we do is just laugh and have the best time. If everybody gets it right, it's no fun. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, great drawing, you know. And I do love to draw. And I have two sons that are very good artists. Um, I'm not thinking the rest of our family is very good. <laughs> and my mother-in-law has played this. It doesn't matter how old. My parents were playing this in, in their upper 80s. That's our all-time favorite game. And you can get Telestrations, the first edition, this regular size, I don't know, it's not 12 player. You can get that at, at um, Target or Walmart usually as well. But if you go online. Okay, now this is a an inexpensive little card game. I got this, it's called Blink. I got this um, for my niece, Stephanie, and she when she was little, she's a big teenager now. Not big, but you know, old. Um, and I think we had the best time. I don't remember how old she was when we were playing it, but it is a fast paced game. You, um, well, it's, it's so messed up right here. Um, so when you see a card, um, on the pile, the two of you have cards in your hands and you're either going to match the shape, the color, or, um, the number of things and you have to do it in a blink of an eye. And so it's really, really fast paced. Um, and she was very, very good. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you want to play as an adult with a younger child, have a challenge on your hand because they um, are actually going to be a little quicker than you most likely once they get down uh, to understanding the, you know, what they're trying to do. You can play it with much younger children than seven. It's just, you know, maybe you just say, okay, we're gonna match colors um, or we're gonna match shapes. I don't think right at, at a certain age, they can't figure out the almost domino look. So that's a really inexpensive game. And then I'm gonna do one more, then I'm just gonna show you some of our Christmas ones. Okay, this one, you guys, you may not like, I don't know. It's called, <laughs> it's called Poetry for Neanderthals. And so, <laughs> This is a word game. It's a little bit like taboo. So if you ever watched, um, I think it was Four Christmases, where Reese Witherspoon and her fiance, oh, what's his name, Vaughn. What's his first name? Well, I can't think of it right now, but mm -hmm. Vaughn, um, are at his mother's house. <laughs> And they're playing taboo and his brother or sister i'm not sure which anyway a relative are like yes yes no you know and, and they were getting all the answers right i don't guess it's a yes or, or no type thing well this is like that except if you say things you're not supposed to say you uh, whoops whoops oh i just dropped the whole thing um, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, so you can score two ways. Oh, and there's two sides. Um, so you get one point for the first word and three points if you can get them to say the second word. And it, we do it on teams. So it'll be a team of three for our, our family. Um, so you, you gotta use, have them say dirty. Of course, you can't get, you can't use this word down here or you're out. And... You can't use color. Oh, I don't know all the rules. Is that really important? I mean, it would be if we were playing it, but I not. I'm not gonna belabor that right now. <laughs> anyway, and then there's this. <laughs> this is the best part. So you blow up this little club, and um, I don't even know what it says. But anyway, if you're person so from the other team they watch you they watch the card and if you say the word if you say a color um or something that you're not allowed to say you hit them with the club 
and they lose that point. And this is a fast paced game too. So you hit them and they're like, oh, okay, let me get another one. I just love hitting my husband with this thing. I do. I, I can't tell you. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just so fun. <laughs> so anyway, I if, if you're that kind of family and you can enjoy that kind of stuff, I know some people would go, um, nobody's hitting me. Um, but anyway, so last year or two years ago, I got this. Um, I saw a version of it at Walmart this year, but it's much smaller, so I don't know if it's the same. But it is a little game board, and I don't exactly remember how you play it, but you have been invited by Buddy to celebrate the Christmas season. You collect and match cards and out-strategize your fellow elves. So anyway, you know, it's a great fun movie, and it's fun to do something with that. Uh, all aboard, so this is the Christmas Express versus the Polar Express game. Will you be the first player to the top in this mad dash to the North Pole? So it looks cute. And then I buy lots of little ones. So all your classic games, like Crazy Eights, Hobby Lobby sells these, um, all these little games for very little but the Christmas versions, um, reindeer rummy and this go fish with polar bear. <laughs> so that's a few of those. And then, um, this is family bingo Rudolph style. So you've got, um, all of the characters on your cards, the misfits from the island and the Abominable and Santa Claus and Rudolph and all of them. So that's kind of fun. And then this one is Festive Charade. So that's games for you. Okay, and then my kids are gonna bring, I mean, one of them has a board game gear, carrying case he'll be bringing. Um, so yeah, we've got, and I've got at least, uh, we've just got lots of games, okay. Um, we're gonna be doing a mix up, but once children go to bed, we play games. Um, sometimes we might watch a movie, but most of the time we're playing games. We just love it. I mean, if you love it, you love it. I'm gonna tell you one more thing over here. <laughs> so I'm in the process of ordering some more things like this. This, um, this is my, one of my babies. Um, we took this picture like he's on a decorative sled that I have upstairs in the screened in porch. I thought it was so cute, the fires behind him. So I made that and I found it the other day and I thought I want one of these of all my grandchildren and I'm gonna hang them back here. So I'm right now in the midst of picking out the frames. Um, I am gonna go to a place and this is not sponsored. I wish it were, but um, I'm going to try easycanvas.com. So basically, I guess I'm going to be done. My decor, uh, basically what I'm going to say is my decoration is going to be the Christmas photos of my grandchildren. And that's what's going to be up there to, to make, uh, make it look like Christmas. So that's it. It was just a little bit of games. Thanks for coming, you guys. Um, hopefully if you're still shopping, uh, that was some fun ideas for family games. These are things I have to get done and I would imagine y'all have things that you've got to get done that are similar and maybe there's an idea in there that, you know, spurs something in you. Um, I am going to be off to a bedroom next and I'm going to try and pull together my last main bedroom for the week and I will see you soon. So you guys. Merry Christmas. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas I forgot to show this, so I'm adding it on at the end. So I told you I had this little surprise um, for the kids. So this is, let me close the door. 
Once we decided not to make this area our wine area, because it was gonna be like this feature wall with wine bottles, and that's fine if you're a wine connoisseur, you're in the wine industry. My husband and I drink wine when people are at our house. Maybe, I hardly ever drink it at all. Um, so it just seemed like a waste of space. And like I said, this was so much more preferred. But I, at the same time I decided, let's do that. I said, what are we doing under the staircase? So I had them put a glass door on and uh, there's a whole nother story about the wall in here, but we bought, where are they? Here they are. I'm not sure I'm gonna use this. I told my husband since he bought them that I'm not a huge fan, but we bought these and they're basically their wine holders and you can, you can put them up individually. So we could cover this wall with them. But we haven't. And so, this is perfect for little kids. I'm not kidding. We're gonna grab, since we're gonna be spending a lot of time down here, and we've got a nice big floor for them to play on. Um, I think this would be great. So we're gonna put some toys in here. I know the boys who are four and six will just think this is their secret little hideout and you know, I'll put some little dishes in here and I don't know, I'm just gonna grab some of their favorite things that they'll enjoy and plus they'll be able to get some of their new stuff in and it'll be the best little special spot for the kids to play. That's all.